dark wig and a mustache and a pair of glasses, I think, would suit me fine. So, Daniel, my first and most important question is, how do you take your martinis? Oh, straight up. Straight up? Straight up, shake them with an olive or two. Three olives. Just like Bond? Yeah, I, although that's kind of, he likes gin martinis. And, and in fact, there's a, there's, a, there's a Sean Connery movie where he actually has a stirred as opposed to a shaken martini. Oh. So I don't think he likes a drink. I don't think there's yeah. kind of really any. It doesn't really matter. No, as long as it's good and it's, <laughs> you know, it's the right company and the sun's shining and whatever, you know, he's, he's happy. Now, critics were skeptical of you playing James Bond before the first movie. And now here you are, three successful films in. Mm. Are you glad to have proven them wrong? I don't think like that. I really don't. It just doesn't really kind of come into it. I just got the job, and it was a big deal, and I, you know, I just did my best. And uh, the first one kind of worked out. We got to make a second one, and we're here. So, uh, you know, I can't please all of the people. You know. Is it what you expected playing such an iconic role? No, I mean you can't really. You know, there's no uh, there's no second guessing it. You just kind of it's, it's an experience in itself, and each each kind of. You know, time you do it, it's it, 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 you know, it, it, it surprises me. So uh, I, there's no way you can prepare for that. So my favorite thing about the Bond movies are all the cool gadgets. Is there one you would like to have in real life? And if so, what would you use it for? I mean, the DB5 is the best gadget. We have that in this movie. The Aston Which Martin. one's that? The, the Aston Martin. Oh. So. Uh, yeah, if I can have Every one of guy those. wants one of those. Yeah. <laughs> Javier Bardem was an amazing bad guy. What was it like working with him? Well, he's just a, a phenomenal actor, and the fact that he, someone like that can come in and do a movie like this, and, and, and you know, he just raises raises the bar, and everybody has to raise their game to kind of be around him. And I, I, I just, he's he's a lovely, charming man, and he's very, very funny and committed, and a huge Bond fan, and has made a kind of a, a really funny creepy Bond villain that hopefully it will be, you know, very memorable. I think it's every guy's dream to play a secret agent. If you could have a secret identity, what would it be? Um, it's never been my ambition to play a secret agent <laughs> or James Bond. It just fell, in, fell into my lap. It's so strange. A good, a good, a dark wig and a mustache and a pair of glasses, I think, would suit me fine. All right. Well, you basically yeah. get to do it every day as an actor anyway. <laughs> Yeah, true. So, you know, I don't want to do it in my private life. Right. <laughs> so you're signed on for two more films. That's right. What would you like to see happen? Anything. Absolutely anything. 